How is it going, everybody? You're watching Then About Tech. Today, I'm going to show you the best, easiest, and fastest way to transfer all your iPhone photos and videos to your Windows PC. And I absolutely love this new method for one simple reason, because you don't need to download anything. And of course, it's 100% free. And that's because this is a native Windows process. It's super easy, super fast, super effective. You won't even believe it. So let's get started. And all you need is your Apple Lightning cable, because of course, we're gonna need to connect the iPhone to the PC using the cable. I do recommend that you use an authentic Apple cable just to make things easier, because if you do use an authentic cable, you won't have any kind of problems. If you use a third party one, you may have some issues, but you can try, no problem. But of course, use an authentic cable if you don't wanna have any problems, all right? So all you gotta do now is of course, plug one end to the PC, and then you can plug right here. And then the other end, you're gonna plug into the iPhone, of course, but make sure to unlock it. So unlock your iPhone before plugging it in, because you need to have your iPhone unlocked in order for this to work. So plug it in, as you can see, energy so it's charging and as you can see right here this pop-up is super important allow this device to access photos and videos and of course you're going to need to tap on allow of course you need to allow uh, maybe you'll see a different pop-up depending on your windows version and your iphone version as well maybe you see the pop-up saying if you want to trust the computer and of course you also want to trust the computer so allow trust just confirm whatever the pop-up asks you all right at this point, you won't even need to use the iPhone anymore. You can put the iPhone to the side and it's super important that you leave it there. Don't play with it, leave it unlocked and don't play, don't handle, don't touch it. Leave it like that, it's much easier. And now all you have to do is click here on the search bar and then look for photos because that's it. We're gonna use the Windows Photos app to access our photos and of course, to transfer the photos from the iPhone to the PC. That's why I said it's super easy, it's native, because this is the native Windows Photos app, all right? So click here on Photos, open it up, let it load. Maybe you already use it, you have a ton of photos here, but no problem, because what we're gonna use is actually this feature, the import feature, as you can see at the top right-hand corner. You can close this blue bubble here and click on Import. And then you'll see this option from a connected device. So the second option from a connected device. As you can see, I'm using Windows 10 right here in this video. And that's because most people are still using Windows 10 to this date. But if you're using Windows 11, the process is exactly the same. You're gonna use the Photos app as well, all right? So click here on from a connected device. And then it'll say looking for new photos and videos. Let it do its thing. It's saying zero item found so far. Of course, it's looking for those items and this process may take a few seconds or even a few minutes depending on how fast your PC is and how many files, how many photos and videos you have. As you can see on mine, it was pretty instant, just a few seconds and there you go, those are my photos. Now, and this is super, super important. If after you click on import and it starts looking for the device, you see an error message, an error display, and it'll say error, device not found. Any kind of error messages you see right here after clicking on import, that's because you haven't allowed the computer from the iPhone. You have skipped the step. Uh, for some reason you haven't allowed it, so that's why the PC won't be able to find the iPhone. So that's why I said it's super important to allow any kind of pop-up messages that appear here on the iPhone. And you may say, okay, Daniel, but when I plug it in, I don't see a pop-up message. No problem, I'm gonna show you how to manually allow it. All you have to do is unplug your iPhone, okay? So unplug it, and then go to settings, scroll down to general, and then scroll all the way down to transfer or reset iPhone, then reset, and then you're gonna reset location and privacy. Don't worry because you're not gonna lose any of your files, you're not gonna lose any of your data, absolutely nothing. We're just resetting the privacy stuff, location and privacy, and that's where it lives. So then you tap on location and privacy, type in your passcode, and then it'll reset instantly. You won't notice absolutely any difference, all right? And then you can re-plug, you can plug it back in, and then you'll see the notification. So after resetting, you plug it back in, and then you see the notification, and of course, you will allow 
this time and that's it that's literally it and then after allowing click here on import and then it will work just like it works on mine and as you can see here uh, you can see where it will import to so by default it will import to pictures but of course you can change the destination and then change for example to the desktop if that's more convenient for you and then you can add this folder to pictures so then you can choose any folder any destination folder that you want and here you can also click under select uh, maybe if you want to select all of your items for example all in my case 2780 items i can click here to just select all or you can click on none and then manually select the photos and videos that you want to import as you can see the photos app the windows photos app uh, already separates it by month so then you can see June, May, and then you can keep coming down, of course, scrolling down, and then you see all your photos and videos as you can see right there. So then at this point, you just click on the photos and videos that you want. If you want to select the whole month, you can select the whole month, and then that's it. And then here at the bottom, we also have another very, very interesting option, which is delete original items after import. So I know many people uh, wanna do this process of transferring from iPhone to a PC, just because their storage is full. So then this option is very cool because you can click here, select this option, and then as it imports to the PC, as, long, as, as soon as it's finished, it will delete from the iPhone. So it'll clear your storage. So this is a very important option if you want to do that. I don't wanna do that, so I will uncheck the option. And here we have import three items. So click there. And as you can see, it will be instant, absolutely instant, as you guys can see. Uh, and then if you do that for dozens, hundreds, even thousands of files, it's fast, guys. And as we set desktop as a destination, you see those files, the photos and videos right here on the desktop. So you can double click on any of those photos just to have a look that it's perfect quality. It works perfectly. You can zoom in. It's perfect, perfect quality. So it's pretty pretty amazing so as you can see here my photos and videos are here on the desktop just so i can easily manage them since i have selected it previously so that's it and i'll see you on the next video as usual bye bye